there, there was a point in time over over the winter that we got kind of obsessed with ice cream. Um, you know, we there's another there's another I'm just tell the story. It's a story. There's another company in in New York um, that makes ice cream. They deliver it. They're the only company that does that. You know, and we started following them and seeing their their pictures on their blog, and you know, it was really inspiring, really cool. Um, we were out of their delivery zone, so we were like, okay, we we can't, we just cannot wait for this. <laughs> we need we need to make it. Yeah. You know, we need to make our own ice cream. Like this is getting ridiculous. You know, we didn't want the ice cream that was in the store. We've had that, you know, already, and, it, and there's a lot of good ice cream out there. Um, you know, but we wanted something new, so. So we bought the ice cream maker, and um, the very first weekend that we had it, we, I guess leading up to that, we had kind of like started prototyping in our head mm -hmm. this idea of fluff nut, you know? Yeah. Because, and this is kind of how we, this is kind of a good example of our process and how we work. Yeah. Is <laughs> like, I'll maybe, like, one of us will come up with something, and then Krista will just like kind of bring it home, you know? So I had this like, you know, I, I grew up eating fluff. Um, these little fluff, fluff nut sandwiches made with Ritz crackers, and I remember like they're one of my favorite things today still. And you know, I, I started thinking, well, okay, you know, Ritz cracker peanut butter fluff, like that sounds good. Uh -huh. And then, and then I was thinking, well, I don't think it's really gonna hold up in the ice cream. Wouldn't it be so much better if we got like this, this kind of caramel, like a butter and um, brown sugar sauce, and like melted that over the fluff nuts. I mean, over the you know the Ritz sandwiches, and then then melted chocolate, and then broke them in. Because it would hold up much better than the ice cream. Cause, like I just pictured it being soggy, you know. And so that's kind of like how the process, you know. That's that's how we envision that one. I remember we're like we're laying in bed and we're falling asleep, like talking about ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> that's usually how it happens. <laughs> I mean, there have been like days where like we fall asleep talking about ice cream and we wake up talking about ice cream. Yeah. And it's like, you know, and it's like an obsession. Yeah.